We start by creating a project. We're going to select the continuous measurement and logging project and we're going to give it a name and save it in our folder and give it an overlay and we're going to create our project that way. The project that we end up with contains a builder specification and a top level BI, that's the main BI. If we run it, we can start acquisition and of course this is simulated, so we have a simulated sine wave and then we can go to settings and change where we're actually logging our log files. In this case, we are calling it my first log and we are going to do now a square root noise. So when we start acquiring, we can see now the square root noise. I can stop and then if I go and explore the project, we're going to find the location where we have the log files and you'll see that the log file is there. So it was saved as my first log with the timestamp. If I go now to, I'm going to do a sine wave on the settings, I can start again. And again, if I were to see that log file, it would be a sine wave. So what we're going to do now is go to Excel. And in Excel, if you have installed the add-in for TDMS files, you can go to the add-ins tab and open a TDMS file. And you'll see there that this was the first file. So this was the square with caution noise. Now we stop the application by pressing the close window. We have a UI interaction, a message handler, an acquisition loop, a login loop, and a display loop. All of these are the different parts of our application. This is how you create an NIQMH continuous measurement login project.